What would email look like if it were invented today? Well, that's the question that Google thinks that it's answered with its new service called Google Wave. Its intent is to revolutionize the way we communicate with each other over the web. It's quite an ambitious project and it requires even more ambition to understand how to use it. So here's a beginner's guide to using Google Wave. After signing in, the first thing that you'll see is your inbox. And basically a Wave inbox operates the same way a Gmail inbox does. Now on the left hand panel you can see your saved folders and searches. And searches allow you to quickly pull up waves from a specific search string. To add a new search, click on the plus sign and type in a name for it and then type in the search string. A good search string for you to have, for example, is with colon public, which allows you to pull up all the waves that are open to the public. It's a good way to find updates and games. You can find my wave at with colon public space tinkernut. Now to add folders, just click on the plus sign beside it and type in a name for the folder. In the inbox, you can see all of your new waves. And from there, you can then view them, archive them, unfollow them, delete them, or move them. In the lower left, you'll see your contacts. And to change your contact information, just click on your icon, and this will allow you to change your current status or edit your profile. Now to add a contact, click on the plus sign at the bottom and type in the contact's Google Wave address to add them. If you click on a contact's name, you can view their recent waves or send them a ping, which is kind of like an instant message. And unlike Google Waves, pings are always private. To create a wave, just click on the new wave button in your inbox. The new wave will appear to your right. Then type in a message and you can add formatting and gadgets to it by just clicking on them from the toolbar above. Then click on the plus sign at the top to start adding followers from your contact list. You can upload files to the Wave by clicking on the paperclip from the toolbar. To insert videos, just enter in the video's URL and then click on the light bulb and select Embed. To send a private reply to a participant, just click on the arrow in the upper right of their post and select Private Reply. And this is basically like a ping within a Wave. Using this option, you can also edit posts by you or others. You can insert maps into the Wave by clicking on the map gadget in the toolbar. But what if you want gadgets that aren't in the toolbar? Well, unless you've deleted it, you should have a welcome to Google Wave message in your inbox. And at the bottom of this Wave, you should see a link for Google Wave extensions, which gives you more gadget options. And then at the bottom of this Wave, you should see an extension installer gadget, which you should click to install. Now, if you go to this website, you can navigate through some of the different gadgets that you can install. And when you find one, click on it and then copy its installer XML link. Then go back to Google Wave and click on the arrow beside New Wave and select New Extension Installer. Then just paste the installer XML link into the box and click Insert. You should see a new Wave pop up with the new gadget in it. Just click install and you should now see it in the toolbar where it's ready to be inserted into your waves. Another type of wave extension is called bots. Bots are scripts that interact in real time with waves such as changing smiley characters to actual smileys, replacing phrases with links to, or even just chatting back with you. To add a bot to your wave, just go to this website and copy that bot's address. Then just to add the bot as one of your contacts. Now in your waves, add the bot as a follower and that's it. It starts working automatically. There are tons more tips and tricks for Google Wave, but this should be enough to get you started. If you know of any more tips, feel free to post them in the comments below. Be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Facebook and Twitter. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.